Hi everyone, my name is Alex. Today I'm going to be trying the Tower 28 SOS Daily Balancing Gel Cleanser. This product retails for $20. To my knowledge, this is the first cleanser from Tower 28. Huge fan of their moisturizer. I am a little bit nervous about this cleanser. It is the summertime right now, so I do like to go for a more purifying cleanser, specifically at night. Gel cleansers have typically been known to be a little bit more of a purifying cleanser. I'm not sure how this product is going to perform but still that is just something in the back of my head when I'm going into this review. This product is vegan, cruelty free, fragrance free, alcohol free, and comes in recyclable pack. This does seem to have amazing ingredients in it. The main things I'll be looking for with it include how well does it cleanse. It also claims to be a non-stripping cleanser, so I do want to put that to the test. As for anything else, I'll be continuing to check-in. So I will see you all in the next check-in. Hi everyone, I'm here to give you all a quick check-in and also do a first impression with this cleanser. Just so we could see together if this was going to be a drying cleanser. They have a lot of bold claims that say it doesn't. It comes out and it feels, wow, it actually feels pretty moisturizing on the skin. See if it foams up any, it doesn't really foam. That feels surprisingly moisturizing for a gel cleanser. It does have a nice little lather to it, a little bit of a foam, but it's extremely minimal. This could be not a stripping cleanser. I'm, I'm really hopeful for that. Took out three pumps here. I am just wearing sunscreen i'm not wearing a tinted sunscreen i will put this to the test it does just smell like a cleanser it's fragrance free i am more oily in my t-zone but more dry in the outer perimeter of my face so i will be able to test if this is too stripping for all of my skin the more i'm using it the more i feel like it could be a little bit drying like specifically in this area i feel tight cleanser is very interesting it doesn't foam up but it feels like it should there's a little bit of a foam going there's a couple of bubbles but it's not a foaming cleanser whatsoever. Curious to see how it feels after I rinse it off. My skin does not feel extremely tight. I've tried out a lot of gel cleansers, even though they do sometimes work for me. This is one of the best and most non-stripping gel cleansers that I have tried. I do love the Good Molecules cleanser, but this one is even less stripping than that. It doesn't leave much of a finish to the skin. I definitely feel like I need to go in with a moisturizer, but my extremely dry areas don't feel crazy dry, which happens whenever I use gel cleanser sometimes. Really impressive so far. Great first impression with this cleanser. Going to continue using it, seeing if I notice that to be true as I use this product, because sometimes cleansers can be more stripping the more I use it. I'm gonna try using it both day and night and just seeing. So I will see you all in the next check-in. Hi everyone. I'm back to give you all my final thoughts on this cleanser. I feel like this gel cleanser was one of the more hydrating ones out of all of the gel cleansers that I have tried. Do I feel like it is suitable for all skin types? I'm not exactly sure. This definitely didn't leave my skin feeling stripped. So I feel like the claim of a non-stripping cleanser was accurate with this product. However, it is still a gel cleanser and I found it to be a little bit more purifying than I would prefer to use both day and night for everyday use. Now it is the summertime right now. I can get away with using more gel and purifying cleansers a little bit more frequently. And I feel like if you are oily, you may love this product to use both day and night because it kind of is the perfect non-stripping gel cleanser. I'm on the fence because I feel like any skin type could use it. The only time I noticed it to be just a little bit stripping for my skin was around the one week mark. I found my skin was becoming a little bit more dry with continued use, but that was when I was using it both day and night every day. I started using it once a night and I seem to like that a little bit better, but compared to other gel cleansers, this is definitely a little bit less of a purifying option. It is definitely still a gel cleanser, so don't forget that. But I noticed it to be very gentle. It didn't have any harsh foaming aspects to it. And I feel like the cleansing agents were very gentle in this product. So I feel like it 
was designed for sensitive skin. I love this cleanser overall. I loved using it when I had been out and you know when your skin just feels very dirty and it was a nice gel cleanser to be a little bit more purifying but yet not strip the skin. And so I feel like if you are more dry and you're wanting a gel cleanser consistency, this may be an option to turn to because I haven't really seen many other gel cleansers with this gentle of a cleansing aspect to it. My skin could have just been dry because of another factor when I hit that one week mark. I was just telling you what I noticed with this product. I backed off, but I feel like I could use this every day, twice a day, at least until my skin does get dry. I changed my skincare routine situationally and I just held off on this product because my skin was feeling more dry. But ultimately, I feel like if I were to go for a gel cleanser both day and night, this would be more of the option that I would go for. It was very gentle, but yet an effective cleanser for the skin. And I really enjoyed that aspect of it. Additionally, I feel like with the great supporting this product, it would be intended for sensitive skin types. I feel like the entire Tower 28 SOS line is kind of like a very simplified skincare routine. With the moisturizer, I felt it was a little bit simple at first, but then I fell in love with it with more use. So I will keep you posted on this product to see if it is something that will remain in my skincare routine and also where it lands with how often I feel like I can use it with more extended use. Overall, in the realm of gel cleansers, I feel like like this is one of the more non-stripping and sensitive skin friendly options that I have seen. It has amazing simple supporting ingredients in it and that is why I would 100% recommend trying out this product. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it and you want to see more like this, make sure you subscribe because I post new videos every week and I will see you all in the next review.